Welcome back. You're watching your first regional news wrap. Today we begin in the northern part of our region where there's been debate going on for weeks now. The city of Cold Lake and the Air Force Base want to rezone a large portion of the airfield so it technically lies in the city and not in the county of Lac La Biche. But by doing that, Lac La Biche would lose millions of what they deem essential tax dollars for their county to operate. Cold Lake says they can't continue to support the base population without those tax dollars. Well, now there's a new party in the mix. Turns out the proposed rezone would include a portion of the MD of Bonneville. Here's what they had to say. It would be nice to have a sit down with the minister and have him um, tell us where, where he stands on this. Well, provincial guidance is pending. They've all requested a meeting and should be sitting down at some sort of bargaining table by the end of February. Next story, heavy snowfall this winter is creating ideal conditions for snowmobiling. But our CMP are saying some Border City residents are voicing complaints about the machines being operated in Lloydminster, which is against the law. In fact, riders can receive several different fines. The sled can be seized uh, once, and once obtained uh, is not released until the investigation is complete and that can take upwards of time if we need to gather statements. So we're talking it could take up to weeks. Well, that'll put a damper on your fun. Kadoon went on to say the lawful way to transport your snowmobile is on a trailer and not in the back of your truck. The Border City is enjoying a nice break from the cold this week, and that's been helping along the city's snow removal plan. They've gotten to about 50% of residential streets, and they're still on budget. Officials are asking you to take your cars off the road at night so the plows can do their job more effectively. On to a little bit of a darker story. Drug use is an ongoing issue among high school students, but authorities are reporting a shift in the age group substances are being abused by. Listen to this. But what we're finding is that the students that are uh, in possession are now younger. Uh, not the high school kids, but the middle years kids. So you're looking at your grade nines uh, predominantly. He went on to say that kids are getting more and more curious, and in turn, the schools had to shift its anti-drug programs to target these younger, more adventurous kids. We move up to St. Paul now, where an art exhibit is at Blue Cools College is going on tour across Alberta. It started as a class, but they had so much talent in the school, they were noticed by the Alberta Gallery of Art. The display will be at the college for another week, and then it heads off to be enjoyed by many. Back here in Lloydminster, Synergy Credit Union donated $200 worth of graphic novels to four schools in town. Just a few years ago, comic books in a school library would have been unthinkable. But as the art form has evolved, they've moved on to more stronger writing and more serious subject matter. Listen to this. Oh, we're seeing a lot of graphic novels. So a lot of the authors and illustrators are moving towards the bright, colorful pictures of the comic books that's been so popular in our past. So I think we're finding a lot of the books are now not only doing a good job with the graphic part, but tying it into the stories too. As a graphic novel fan, that is music to my ears. Comic book artists and writers gave the kids a workshop on how their art is created. Heading a little west now, after more than 30 years of dedicating her life to the community, Lashburn resident Yvonne Wilson was recognized this week. She spent her time volunteering for the Lashburn Housing Authority, and officials wanted to make sure that she got the praise she deserved for her hard work. But she remained pretty humble. Well, it feels really uh, pretty special, and that's all. But I don't feel that I really need to be honored for all of my volunteer work I do. <laughs> I just do it because I like it. What a sweet lady. Now I'm almost out of time, but here is something for you to try this weekend. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. They aren't snowboarding, they aren't skateboarding, they are snow skateboarding. It's a newer sport that's catching on with boarders alike. Much like a skateboard crossbred with a snowboard, the snow skate works the exact same, minus the bindings that would normally lock your feet into place, of course. I won't be drawing that, but maybe you more adventurous viewers can pick one up. That's the end of your regional news wrap. Stay tuned. We have an update on some local theater events coming up after the break.